Might as well just come right out here and just test her on the grass. Now pet her for that. Good girl. Good girl. Nice. And now throw all the rope to her and step back. Stand still. She doesn't even want to do it with the rope. This. There. Just let, let her eat for let her eat for a moment. Okay. And now just go ahead and gather up some rope and step up to her a little bit. There. Better for bringing her head up. Good. Good. Now wait. Now the correction. There. And just now give her a little pet for having her head up. So we're going to go ahead and do a, a little bit of review here. I'm going to check her out to see if she can remember that when my eyes go to her hip, she should probably move her hip away. It's very good. When my eyes go to the hip, she should probably move her hip away or I will start to escalate the cue. When I come to position and my eyes go to the hip, the hip should move. And even if it's just that one little step, that's all we're looking for is a casual, quiet response. And we're gonna check her out, see if she can go to the left. Looky here, look at there. See if she'll lunge out here. This is lunging to me, good. She's just maintaining position behind and staying in front of that angular line. I'll just kind of ask for the hip here. Very nice. Step off to the right. Put a little bit there. Let us leave her alone for traveling. Maintain position here. I want her to stay in front of that shoulder line. I'll just kind of look towards her hip. There. That's good enough, see, for a little tiny baby just two days into it. Remember when I wiggle my fingers and tap on my rope when I wiggle my rope? There you go. Do you remember when I wiggle, there you go. Can you remember when I wiggle my fingers and tap on my rope? There you go. And that's good enough. All we're doing is planting seeds and we're gonna nurture seeds. Good girl. Okay. So again, I want my little colt to, to know when she feels this, she's supposed to come forward. And sometimes just, just picking your little tail up and going like this is enough of a, a added pressure. And I want there. Stop. And I want, I want her to only come as instructed here. And then again, I'll remind her she needs to back off. So that she thinks it's probably a bad idea to go off the side. Forward, stop, come forward, stop, forward, stop. And right here, I just, I just kind of get real soft and love on her. I want her like, I want her to like getting up on things like this. Let's tell her how smart she is. Remember, this is just really second day of groundwork with this little foal. So forward and just drop the front feet off if I can. Ooh. And there, because she jumped off, I'm going to kind of get after her just a little bit. So, you know, jumping off of things is not a good idea. Forward and stop. Forward and stop. Forward and stop. Good. I'm going to try to drop just those front feet off again here if I can and stop her. Good girl. And forward. And stop. And stop. And stop. There. Now I'll let her come. Good. Alright. There you go. Slow and easy. <laughs> Pay attention. Chewy will get you in trouble. And stop and think. And make sure you go down mm -hmm. to the center of the chest. Don't pull to the side because it'll kick her hip away. There. But it may steer her off in the front. There you go. Much better. Just trying to stay more centered. There. Take a step. Good. Good. Good enough. I'm going to try to drop this one. I'm going to give her that. So we'll let her come look at her little pedestal again here. Or her big one, I should say. Oh, look at you. I'm not going to ask her to 
step all the way up with all fours. She's too young, and if we scrape her, our job's not to ever get her scared or hurt. We're gonna kind of let her see this tar. We kind of rubbed her with a trash bag once. To build her confidence, we never bring anything here to get her scared or hurt. Right here. I'm just going to kind of stay with her here. I'm just going to touch her with it. And then when she, when she settles, when she settles, I'll just take it away here. When her feet settle. See it even bigger. Doing this, caution yourself you don't go over her back so she catches it out of her other eye. Good girl. When she shows curiosity, we'll back her away again. Let's back her up and let her think here for a second. Invite her back. Right here, just don't let her jump on top of you, see? Good. Now right here, you gotta be careful that you don't let them back off of a tarp that first time or so, because they may drag it with them. This is one of the few times I let a horse really go forward through an obstacle. There we go. Good. I just kind of let her think about that for a minute and then come back. We took her for a little walk around. Just encourage a step. Some curiosity. If she wants to go ahead and cross, I just let her cross. So get yourself one of these here pump sprayers. I put my bug spray in them. This one here is marked water. I just use it for teaching horses to tolerate the spray. And I want my horse to stay. You can't really see the mist coming out of there, I don't think, but uh, I want my horse to tolerate this. So I'll kind of get my arm Horses should learn and can learn easier with rhythm. So I'll get my arm kind of going and I'll just kind of let her see spray, spray, spray. Then I'll just kind of come in here and hit her once with it and spray, and then spray, spray there. Then I'll just kind of hit her with it. And then I'll just kind of hold her. Then I'll just kind of spray her. But I'll use this rhythm. So she gets to where she knows every time that arm comes up when it comes down, it's gonna spray her like that. The only spray coming down. 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 And I'm not fighting with her to stay still. I want her to look for an answer here. And I'm going right down her front leg, shoulder to her front leg. I want, her saying, I want her thinking, what do I have to do to make this guy stop spraying me? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? What could I possibly do? Me running around doesn't seem to be helping my situation any. What could I possibly do? Maybe if I slow down, that didn't work. Maybe if I slow down, that isn't working. And maybe if my feet stopped. That's where we quit for a moment. Pump it back up, spray, spray, spray. And then when she stood, I just quit right there. Up there. I'll let her think for a second. I always want her looking for answers. Spray, spray. There you go, man. Spray. Spray, spray the body, spray the hip. Because she because she moved, I sprayed her again there, see. But she hadn't been sprayed on this. There we go. But we just want to make sure we have her balanced. There. There you go. I'll just go ahead and spray her body. Spray her. There we go. Good girl. I'll spray her body and her hip. There. Very 
good. We'll just kind of quit on that for today. the light and shadows and stuff here. So it's got a different look. And it's really important that you go down to the chest when you stop them. Just pulling their head to the side will put a bend in their neck, a bend in their body, and it'll cause their hip to kick away. Ouch! Oh. an object of apprehension because I don't want them to ever think it's okay to get here and then squirt through. I want them to only come as instructed forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and only responding to instruction. Very good. We're just going to call that good for you. Notice kind of love on her right there. Tell her how smart she is for trying. Let her settle. Just back her up quietly. Get that internal GPS working so she knows <clears throat> so she knows the height and the reach now. And it builds her confidence that her hind feet can follow. Good. I don't want her rushing through here. Again, almost everything we do. She has to take a step and stop and think. She's gonna feel a little tip happen right about now. There we go. And I'm gonna to try to stop just the front feet here if I can. Come on. That's okay. That's okay. There we go. Pretty big drop off for her. And nice and slow. Let's go ahead and turn it off for a second before that airplane gets And my answer is when they're about five, six months old. Might as well start teaching them some stuff. A little bit here and a little bit there. And uh, the 
be a lot more confident horse as they age and mature. These little, these little seeds we plant in her brain right now, our job is to nurture them and watch them grow. I'm going to give that to her. Red dot? Yep. So this here is uh, about 16 inches. <laughs> it's a test. Good. Good. Can try to help her find center here a little bit better. There. But I think you could teach a baby to find those edges like that. That's why I like to take it real slow. See how she's kind of feeling for it, as opposed to just stabbing at it blind. Looky there. You see that? that we're gonna quit on her right there. There we go. So again, in all things horse, when you teach them to do things a step at a time, get their confidence up whatever we put in front of them our job is to never get them scared or hurt Good. just get her confidence up Good. just let her make her think her way through it Let her find her way. Let her feel it out. Take a step. Stop and think. Evaluate. Move a front foot. Place a hind foot. Think. Now try not to ever let him rush. Especially off the end. I'm going to try to stop just those fronts. Boy. Personally, I like to go backwards. I like to hold my rope with my left hand so I can monitor the horse's feet. I can see if she's coming or not coming. Think her way through here. And again, instead of wanting her to panic and jump or rush through here, I prefer that she think one step at a time. She moved a foot. See, I let up on it. Um, yourself they don't jump right out on top of you here if I can stop her kind of love on her right here and try to encourage her more to the center where she can get all four feet in and I'll just kind of love on her right here tell her how smart she is get her to kind of like in that she might have a little scratch on that foot from stepping off an edge and that water might be hitting that little raw spot there. There you go. There you go. Let's kind of let her stand right here for a few moments. My love on her. Then when we ask for motion, again, one step, that's all she gets. So if we can start teaching our horse to watch for and respond to instruction and only 
do as instructed, we're going to have a whole lot better horse later. And I was just sitting here in this chair and I just kind of it just kind of got her a little bit busy and then when she went and kind of looked at the trailer I got quiet and then then I just kind of gave her a little encouragement there and she, just, she just jumped right in so that's trailer loading 101 now you get yourself a chair if she wants out I'll let her out here so <clears throat> when we go to teach a horse to tie up personally I don't ever uh, really mess with them unless they to tie up unless they'll kind of lead off for me pretty good and also that I've kind of taught them this little come forward cue there by tapping them in the ribs so now I try to tie them at least about eye level you know if I can and I'd only take a couple of wraps around a a pipe like that so that if she pulls back here she, she can kind of feed that rope to herself I'll just kind of hold it there and uh, so if she went to throw back on it I could kind of throw in as much resistance as I wanted and kind of let her slip a little so she didn't panic okay. and she'll kind of teach herself to come up off that that lead that lead pressure I don't think you're gonna have any struggles teaching her how to tie. But I would just start with pipe like that, and uh, the more wraps you take, the more resistance she gets. So that right there, see, she can pull. About the time you take one more wrap, it's gonna get harder for her to pull. She could still do it. There, see, it's, it'll slip. Yeah, kind of let her feel a little seesaw even there, like even up in that gentle flank area, see. We just want her to come to believe we'd never do anything here to hurt her. And just let her feel that seesaw upper butt crack here a little bit. Right up in her flank there. Then you can start reaching back here even and ask for a little more. Pick that up just a little bit. And right there where she kind of got quiet there, I just kind of eased it back down. And I'll just kind of hold her here. And there, there where she got quiet, I just ease her down. I'll seesaw a little bit, take that away. She got a little, there, she's quiet. I'll put it back down. And then here, you just, just kind of get her used to this kind of stuff happening to her. So that when you go to saddle her in another year or so, uh, this this isn't going to be an issue for you. Good. More for her. Starting to kind of clamp a little. When she softens, I'll lift it a little. She's clamping a little, then I lift a little. Pretty soon, you should be able to... There, she's softening. Just pick that tail clear, almost up over her back like that. There, she's pretty soft. There's no resistance. Just let it back slow. 